And I'm pretty sure you guys know that we're launching the MDL as well. And we want to gloss over some key details as this is a key part of our season 11 and season one for the MDL. It's a new direction that we have. So it's with great honor, we would like to formally share with you guys the key details about the inaugural season of the MLBB Development League or MDL known popularly to us. If may, you may have all seen our brand new key visual and bold theme and tagline Ilabasan Lakas. If you guys aren't following our social pages on Facebook, please do so you can stay tuned to updates. But we would like to take the time to explain the persona, the elements, and the story of our look as well before we go into the detail. Particularly, we have our theme, Ilabas Ang Lakas, and this will be our front-facing tagline, handle, and persona for the season. So it's stemming from the overarching theme of the MPL as well, Lakas ng Pinas, where Labas Ang Lakas embodies the battle crying spirit of those out to prove themselves and pursue their pro league dreams as everything begins in the MDL. Here we embody that everywhere, um, talent all over the Philippines are looking for opportunities to be discovered in terms of the pro league and MDL serves as their premier point of discovery when it comes to that. Here, we also have our logo, while subtle, there's a clear distinction of the PH logo by, <clears throat> there's a clear distinction of the PH logo in terms of the elements we use as we integrated the subtle colors of the Philippine flag. It's very different in terms of the other MDLs from the other region and we just wanted to embody and pretty much um, personify the MDL to the Philippine spirit as well. In terms of our overall look to summarize, multiple key elements tell the story of the MDL. Each component tells the story of those who are out to tell everyone that they are here and they are ready to show their step. So whether it's the three stars representing the three islands of our nation, whether it's the concrete and gritty elements embodying that talent comes from everywhere, whether it's the jungles of Metro Manila or the cities of the different regions, here we can truly say that MPL is a league for everyone to be discovered. So uh, MDL is a league for everyone to be discovered as well. And here we would have key details condensed into one slide for uh, your appreciation. So as the season begins, we would like to go over these details so that we can guide you as well. So in terms of our uh, key dates or tournament details, here we have our regular season kicking off on Feb 15 up to March 30, 2023. And we'd have a similar break leading up to our playoffs up to April 21, 2021, up to 23. In terms of our format, please expect a full offline season and that we will be airing the games Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday on the MDL page. So this is prior leading up to MPL Friday up until the end of the weekend. In terms of our regular season format, we'll host a best of three round robin format and the playoffs would host a similar format to the MPL best of five leading up to the grand final. In terms of our prize pool, prize pool of the total of $20,000, the winner will receive the lion's share of this um, set amount. And in terms of the inaugural season, it's also, some, uh, it's also one to watch out for as the participate, participating teams are all out to show their strength and make a bold statement. And one that shouts that we're here and we're coming from you. Um, the league comprises of a competitive pool of MLBB athletes mixed with familiar names and determined amateurs alike. I'm pretty sure you've seen some of the roster. And all of them are hungry to pave their way to the top. So MPL franchise teams debut their teams in the form of Blacklist Academy, Echo Proud, Next Play Evo Tiger Cubs, Brand Euphoria Esports, Onyx Arsenal, RSG Ignite, Smart Omega Neos, and TNT Neos. And also, top amateur teams, Doll Esports and Game Lab, complete the stack pool of an, stack pool for the inaugural season. Furthermore, a key detail that you may have went over as I was discussing the teams would be the mid um, mid season transfer. We would like to share a few details um, over this, as this rule will surely affect both the dynamic of the MPL and the MDL. So, in terms of our key dates, the mid season transfer starts on Monday, Feb twenty and ends up until March 27. Here, um, during this period is the only time that you can actually execute the transfer. And just to go over the main rules when it comes to the athletes, the coaches, and the general provision of how you execute the transfer. Um, let's go over this uh, real quickly. So particularly the mid transfer period, hold on. The mid transfer period only applies to teams with a parent MPL franchise. So as you can see, I removed both um, Zol and Game Lab as they do not have parent organizations in the MPL. During the mid-transfer period, teams will only be able to up, uh, transfer every Monday. And only one transfer can be made per week, uh, per league per week 
for both teams of the franchise, and they can may they may request simultaneous transfer. A player may only be transferred once for the entire season. This means that a player that has been transferred to another league may not go back to their league of origin once the transfer is finalized. A franchise team may only transfer from their MBL team to their MPL team up to three times per season. However, MPL to MDL transfers are unlimited per season, provided the roster minimum and maximum are followed. This is in conjunction with number six. So in terms of your minimum and maximum, uh, teams may not go below their player minimum of five starters and one substitute and may not go beyond the maximum of five starters and five substitutes. Particular to this, this also applies to coaches and coaching staff. So particularly the main change here is the number of times per season. So let me go over it. Coaching staff may also be transferred and uses the same process as the athletes as well. But as I mentioned, the main difference would be the number of transfers here. Instead of one, they have two times per season. The rationale for this being that it's a way for teams to adjust for being shorthanded with staff throughout the season, but still limited enough so that no one can abuse the rule as well. In terms of your general provision or in terms of how to use this, this is key to note, a player being transferred will not be effective immediately. So let's say if I apply for a transfer this week, it won't happen this week. It would happen the following week. And they'll remain in their league of origin until then. All right? So as we move forward, those were the key details for MDL, NPL, our initiatives, and also season details. I would like to pass it on to Keith for some exciting news or exciting details in terms of media coverage and what he has in store for your media friends as well.